Okay, so here we are. We're in the um, essential room in the bathroom and uh, the toilet roll holder is all loose. This happens all the time. But you got here, there's no visible screws anywhere, top, bottom, anywhere around. What these guys often do, they'll have what's called a grub screw. So just a little screw that needs an Allen key to get in underneath. So if you have a look, right up in underneath, you see that grub screw and an Allen key you can go into that. And that's actually how these guys are held onto the wall. So that grub screw is in the base, the, the fat of it down here and goes in. Now sometimes that'll be just a normal straight screwdriver, sometimes it'll be a Phillips head and sometimes it'll be an Allen key. This time around, it's an Allen key. Now, it's not, often it'll just be a case of tightening that up, but this one I don't think it is. Um, it's actually, I think, the fitting that it screws to underneath um, has come loose. So these invisible fittings, like if you look at this one, it, um, it's a toilet roll holder, but it just looks like it's stuck on the wall. There's no screws that you can see, no way of attaching it. The grub screw goes onto a special bracket, and I think the bracket underneath has come loose. So what we need to do is undo that grub screw, so here we go, we've almost got it. It's really loose now. And you just gotta work out, when you're up, upside down, you can sort of go, okay, I'm upside down and turn it here, because you need to go, to undo it, you need to go anti-clockwise. Against a clock, one, two, three, four, around, you have gotta go the other way to undo. So, okay, anti-clockwise is that way, and you can transfer it down, because it's very hard when you're upside down to keep turning it the right way. I know people have said to me they turn it one way, then they get it confused and start to turn it the other way and don't end up actually taking it off. So it's another two screw. Here we go. We're off. So here's the uh, clip in the wall. See, it's got two screws, and as I suspected, it's loose as. So we just need a little Phillips head screwdriver to do those up, and then we'll be able to, because you can do it up tight on this, but if this is loose, it's still going to move. So we'll do up these. I've got a little screwdriver here. It doesn't have to be a good quality tool. I've just got a real cheapy here. Put it in. Do it up. This one as well. Okay, that screwdriver was just a joke. I've gone and got myself a decent one. This is a Stanley screwdriver. I love these, but a decent quality screwdriver. It's the right size. So again, turning clockwise. Yeah, that feels totally different. We've got to pull it up nice and tight now. See that coming in tight to the wall? Get it straight. And you can do this with a with a drill. Just make sure if you do if you're using an electric drill, adjust the clicker thing so it's not going to destroy the drywall, the plaster here. Now we're talking. That's nice and solid. You get a much better idea of how tight you can pull it up when it's like that. Okay, and now the way this is made, there's just a little lug here that um, clips over the top of this edge, and then the grub screw down here is what holds in on the bottom and holds it tight, pushes it up against the lug and holds it tight, stops it from moving. So you don't want to install it that way with the grub screw to the top because you can see it. So we put it on this way, top on first, you put the top clip on, and then plop it down like that. Now, if, I mean, I, we want it to sit straight, obviously. If it won't go on, you need to undo the screw a little bit. So just loosen off the screw, uh, and then you'll be able to get it to go on. So it's sitting flush with the wall, everything's good. And now we want to go clockwise, so we're going that way into the grub screw, there we go, just turn that, I'm only getting half a turn at a time, again getting it up where I want it so it tightens up in the right position, now we're getting there, we can use the allen key in a change position and get a lot more tension on it, it's starting to tighten up. And if you find the grub screw screws all the way through, 
you can then take that plate off and get a hammer and knock it a bit flatter. So if it's like being squashed too small, you can um, take the plate off, put it on some concrete or a brick, and then just knock it a little bit flat, and then you'll be able to use it again. But this one, while well, it's screwing up a long way, it's coming out good, you can hear that. There you go. Still not quite tight enough for me, I'm gonna go a bit tighter. Get it in. It doesn't want to go in all of a sudden, I'm in the right hole. Yep, there we go. Okay, very good. Put the TP back on. And there, it's now sitting. It had flopped right down before and this was tending to fall off. Now it's on nice and tight. Great job. So whether you've got hidden shelves, like you get shelving that just stick out from the wall like that, they're all the same type of attachment. There'll be a little grub screw underneath. Um, with either, you know, it could be a Phillips head screw like that, a star, it could be just a little flat screwdriver or an Allen key. Uh, that's the only three I've come across. I'm sure there might be others as well, but they try to keep it simple. And uh, there you go. You can undo them, tighten them up, and the bracket underneath is a big secret. If you've tightened it up and the fitting's still loose, then you need to take the fitting off altogether, tighten the bracket up, and then put this back on, and she'll be good as new.